Hey, nice to see you back again. What? Ah, you saw my video about the Quarkus Funky, the serverless API of Quarkus. And now you want to know how to deploy all that stuff to Azure functions, to the Microsoft Azure Cloud. So then, let's do it. So before we start, I will do a short recap of all the things we did in the uh, Quarkus video, in the Funky video, and uh, I will link also the video in the description so that you can uh, examine in all uh, the details of Quarkus Funky. So we uh, did start with the Quarkus code starter and added the Funky HTTP binding extension to uh, the project to get uh, the HTTP uh, possibilities of Funky. So, and in our IDE, we have the uh, creating function with all uh, the, the function methods annotated with the add func annotation. That's the funky uh, annotation, the annotation that funky introduces uh, to Quarkus. And we have several um, methods. So a hello method and Quarkus maps the method name to uh, the path where the um, API, the, uh, the, the method is uh, reachable through uh, HTTP. Uh, we also can inject any uh, CDI resource to our funky service. So this uh, the greeting service is just annotated with application scope. It's a, a regular CDI service. We can use it in our uh, function. We have another function with a special name. So uh, in this case, not the greeting a person is used, but uh, the greet name as path and also a bit more um, complex function. So um, yeah, we can start this um, application and do a short test. So this is um, started at port 8080. We can see it, Quarks is started. Uh, we call it through the path API hello. So if you watched uh, the original video, you saw uh, just hello, not API hello. This is something um, the Azure uh, version now introduces. I will come back later to this. And um, I have a query parameter name funky, can send it and we'll get back a uh, hello funky. That's what our hello function will do. Get a name and send back hello to um, the response. So uh, Funky is all about JSON and uh, simple HTTP binding of GET and POST resources, nothing more. It aims for simplicity. So um, that's for uh, short. And now let's uh, try to dig into the Azure deployment specials. Back to our code starter. We now need an extension for the Azure uh, cloud. And um, you see here in the funky extensions, there's no Azure binding. So we need to um, look for Azure. And we see here the Azure functions ATDP extension. Uh, that's uh, the extension we need to deploy all the functions to Azure. So we add this to our um, project. I did this already in our in my Maven POM. So this is um, the Azure functions HTTP Quarkus extension. Uh, in here. So um, this extension, as all the um, deployment extensions are uh, responsible for um, generating the, the deployment artifacts, deployment uh, code um, special for the uh, target environment. And uh, for this, we need just a little bit more to get this also running to uh, or deployed, deployed to the Azure cloud. Um, we need also after here, the Azure functions Maven plugin, and that's a plugin from Microsoft Azure, um, uh, special for deployment to uh, Azure functions and uh, also running Azure functions locally. And for this, we need some um, more definitions. We need a resource group. We need an app name and the app region. Uh, I defined this up in the um, properties section. So we have a function, the funky, we have an app name. It's the Sneeko funky demo. I choose this one. 
Um, the region is Germany West Central. That's um, the main region in Germany. And I created a function a resource group, Java functions group to deploy all the resources to this uh, resource group and to uh, manage this together. So um, with this, uh, we can configure the Azure Functions Maven plugin. Also, we have to specify a Java version. Um, Azure Functions supports um, Java 8 and Java 11 as runtimes. And uh, there are some app settings. Um, the Functions uh, version is now 3. Um, that's just internals. If you need uh, details, you can look up the documentation of uh, Azure Functions, of course. So additionally to the Azure Functions Maven plugin, we need a bunch of other um, plugins also. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to just add one plugin and all the uh, magic is done for you. So we have to add um, the Maven uh, resources plugin uh, to copy some um, JSON definitions to the, the staging directory, to the target directory. So there's the host JSON and the local settings JSON. Um, this is generated for you if you use the Maven archetypes or the code starter. You have this in the Azure config folder. You have the functions JSON, host JSON, local settings JSON. And uh, the local settings JSON is needed to run the function locally. So you have, have a look into it. Um, the basic settings is uh, it's not encrypted locally and uh, some default settings the runtime is java runtime um, if you need to specify more things uh, just have a look to the documentation where all this is uh, uh, explained what you need to what you can um, uh, configure here and you have the host json and the host json is just for all the bindings um, you can configure for your function uh, a regular basic function in quarkus doesn't need any further configuration for the bindings and we just have to specify the version of the host definition it's version 2 in our case these are the two settings will be um, uh, copied here and then another execution will be the copy of the function json which will be filtered and um, this is the function json um, you see here there's a placeholder and this will be replaced during uh, filtering the copy of this file to the staging directory. And um, that's the definition uh, how um, the function uh, will, be, uh, will be deployed, where the function actually is stored, in which uh, char file, that's a runner char, oh. and uh, which is the entry point. So this is uh, a Quarkus um, function class so you don't have to write your own azure specific function class to um, to have an entry point this is all done from uh, quarkus for you by this um, quarkus extension the azure extension for quarkus um, and you also shouldn't change this here so and then there is a binding or our function will be triggered um, through http events an incoming event um, the request mapped from every path, nearly every method, um, no authentication, and we have a response, an HTTP response out, uh, and uh, uh, the return variable is an internal variable. So this uh, will be needed during deployment later on. Back to our POM file. Um, of course, we need some more um, uh, plugins or executions then we have to copy the uber char we created during uh, the installation the, the maven uh, packaging and to copy it to the um, staging directory and um, the last thing is to rename all the, uh, this um, uber char to a regular char file and uh, yeah that's it so there's a bunch of additional configuration in the pom file um, Personal thing, if you like it or not, depends. Uh, but you need all this stuff to deploy your function to the Azure Functions uh, uh, Azure Functions applications. So 
Additional um, configuration you need is in the application properties, you need to specify a root path, the API path. So um, this is a path you really have to set uh, and you will have to name it API because that's the hard uh, dependency in Azure Functions. So Azure will add to every function the API path when it's deployed. We will see that later when we have the deployed version. So we will have to add the API path here, otherwise um, it won't work later on when deployed. So um, yeah, I think it's time to deploy or run locally. So for running locally our Azure function, our funky Azure function, um, we also can use the uh, Azure um, Maven plugin for running it uh, locally. We can do a Maven clean install and then have the Azure Functions plugin calling the run goal and the run goal will execute it uh, locally. So just start it. The uh, project will be built and um, a few seconds afterwards it uh, will run locally. So you have to be logged in in the um, Azure cloud um, on the uh, um, command line. So with um, ASET login, you can uh, log in to the Azure cloud. Otherwise, it uh, won't work. So you have to be have to have um, uh, an account at Azure and you will have to be logged in also for running locally, unfortunately. So you will see at the bottom, uh, there's the functions, funky get post head put options delete running at localhost 7071, API at every path. There's again the API path. Uh, so uh, that's a dependency from uh, Azure functions. And we also have to uh, include it in our Quarkus um, application. And so I will switch back to the HTTP client, Let's tell him um, 7071 API hello also funky local or let's call it azure functions local and try to send a request and you see hello azure functions local it's running and in the background you saw there was some action uh, at the console um, the action uh, the function was triggered so that's all you uh, need to have um, this uh, running locally. You can test it locally. You can attach a debugger if you like and um, just test and debug your functions um, for running locally. So let's stop it. And then we will deploy all that stuff to um, Azure Functions. It's the same um, Maven clean install, Azure Functions and it's uh, deploy. Um, just this uh, one and then we will also do a build, a full build of the project and then we will see that uh, all this stuff will be deployed. So it's using the Azure profile settings on my local machine and so updating the specified function app. Java version of function host is 11. And this will take some time to deploy this stuff to the cloud. So the deployment is done. And um, in our log output, we see successfully deployed the artifact to HTTPS does Nico funky demo Azure websites net. And uh, we can take this um, URL. Oh, up here it's. Uh, the funky it's um, does nico funky Dima azure websites net api and then our path so we can just um, copy this get back to our http client and paste it in here uh, remove from one slash we have a does nico funky demo azure websites dot net api hello and azure functions in the cloud it's deployed and we're running it and we get back hello Azure functions in the cloud. So 
um, the deployed function, the funky Quarkus funky function uh, in Azure Functions uh, has responded and uh, can be used. So that's it. So this is easy to deploy your Quarkus funky function to Azure Functions to the cloud running on Java 11. And yeah, have fun with it. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions or want to give me some feedback, put it down in the comments and don't forget to give me some thumbs up and to share this video wherever you like. Um, don't forget also to subscribe to this channel so that you don't uh, miss any of my other videos. And yeah, stay tuned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.